Congrats on your nomination. So excited for you. Thanks for all you do. Walter Payton, man of the year, my man of the year. Well, one of the things that I really was amazed that he would do, even in, I'm going to say his eighth grade year in middle school, when I had the in-house daycare, is like he would come and sit and read to the special need kids, teach them how to share, give back, like, give me the ball, you get the ball, you get the book, I get the book. And for him to be so open and caring for those kids, it was awesome. They're the ones that's going to change this world that's going to make this world a better place and they need people to you know shed light on them uh to bring bring light to them i'm a, a product of anything that you dream of you can achieve it and i want to be that for, for for as many people as i can you know kids adults uh whatever it is it's just something about kids uh that you know i just love to help and i think it comes from me being a kid and, and, and seeing how much that helped me that you know it's my duty and it's my job to to do the same in this 2019 team, we had probably seven or eight future NFL guys on the team. Those guys were held to a standard by Jacoby, and he was only a junior. And their standard was that if they didn't perform well in practice, then I'm not giving you the ball in the game. I think Jacoby was the last kid I ever saw do that, and they probably reacted more strongly to him than they would have any coach. I mean, they that's how much they respected him. And the time that we're in right now with uh, social injustice and COVID and everything like that, I think Jacoby has been an example of what we need in this world. You talk about selflessness, spreading love, and you know all that stuff. Jacoby exhibits all that. He's not scared. He's not scared to speak his mind. He's not scared to do the work. He's not scared to call someone out when when they need to be called out. He's not scared to to listen when it, it's time to listen. It's really a, a, a unique dynamic, one I'm very thankful for, especially stepping into a new place for myself, haven't been in 16 years. You don't really know how that's gonna play out. And we compete, we pull for one another. He's been unbelievable on game days and throughout the week. And uh, I think that professionalism is also another reason why the guys in the locker room really respect and admire him. He could have gone the other way this year, you know, and he, and he, he chose not to, and uh, was, has been a real pro the whole way, both on and off the field why he is such an effective leader is his energy and I you know I certainly saw that firsthand on on the football field and at practice and this exuberance this constant battery filled you know go 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 and, and we've seen that now transcend football and into the community and he, he's got he's so full of energy he's so willing to learn and educate himself and help others uh, he's curious, you know, he knows he doesn't have all the answers and, and he'll search for the best one. Whether he's been the backup quarterback or the starting quarterback, you know, Jacoby's not changed in terms of who he is as a leader. I think that's one of his really special qualities. And, you know, when he's done playing professional football, he's going to he's going to be a leader in the community. He's always willing to help someone else to understand the struggle, you know, that how he made it through and that if he did it, the next person can do it as well. So he's like being, being that example and being able to be a light uh, to give back. The thing I love about his leadership is that he's not the kind of leader who's going to just tell you what to do. He's gonna be beside you. He's gonna be sweating with you. If he thinks that there's some action that needs to be taken, he's not gonna tell other people to do it. He is going to do it. He's gonna be right there. The Start the Cycle event is an event to, to integrate the police department into our community. It's imperative that we bridge the gap between the community and law enforcement. He was driving three hours, two hours, any place they can find 20 bikes, 30 bikes. They were driving all over the state of Florida to be able to get the number of bikes that were necessary to make sure that every kid had a bicycle. The kids are seeing the police department, the police department is seeing the kids, and when we're riding through neighborhoods and, and people are seeing us pull up with the, the kids in the police department, you know, that, that creates that unity that we're looking for. Like, I never really, like, rode bikes as a kid. You know, I had a bike, it got stolen, and then I got another bike and it got stolen. So once we did the event, you know, you saw how important a bike was to kids. I mean, Jacoby, was once those those kids. So he knows how that inspired him to want more and how he that inspired him to want change. You know, uh, coming from where we come from, you have to overcome so many obstacles and, and all you hear about is what how hard it is. But for him to succeed and get to where he is today, I think that's what fuels him to continue to inspire the youth and continue to inspire change in, in, in our communities. 
you know, it was kind of cool to see all the kids and the parents come out and, uh, you know, honestly engaging with it with the police, uh, you know, and it's been an event that has stuck around, you know, every Friday I get a text or a, a picture or video from the event. Individuals in our community that traditionally would never interact with law enforcement or the city were out there supporting what Jacoby was doing. And I thought it was such a neat idea to try to bring positive policing to communities of color and to be able to um, join those two groups of people together in such a positive way. On behalf of the players, teams, coaches, the staff, uh, the organization, uh, we're here to say we're hurt. We're hurt because we feel the pain of not only our black teammates, but our black community. He's very impressive. He just has such deep convictions and he has such good instincts, and then he's just got unwavering conviction, and we all see that. And so he's a natural leader in this area. You know, there's a handful of really strong leaders in this area on our team, but Jacoby is certainly one of them. Obviously, it got out regarding our efforts to get everyone here registered to vote, in which we had 100% participation. Making it his business to make sure everybody in the building uh, is registered to vote. You know, that's gonna last longer than football will. I guess I've always seen greatness in him. Even from, I would say, seven years old, I used to tell him he was my Peyton Manning because I was a big Peyton Manning fan. So I always saw him above everything, like he would get there. So I just like, okay, that's him.